Hi, I'm David from Cronus Audiovisual and today on the video review diaries we're looking at the Macintosh 352 integrated amplifier. Um, this is the larger of the two hybrid amplifiers that Macintosh do. Um, the 352 uses valves, you can see here on the input stage, but solid state output. Um, this particular model can drive 200 watts of channel into 8 ohms, so there's pretty much um, nothing that this thing cannot drive in terms of loudspeakers. Um, what we'll do is, Macintosh are obviously a very famous name in hi-fi and I think the blue VU meters here are very much, uh, I think, you know, what people think of when they think of a Macintosh. So if you turn the amplifier on, what you'll see is the blue VU meters coming on, but you'll also see the valves uh, turning on and you'll see them uh, in, in the warm-up uh, stage uh, in one color and as the amplifier goes into uh, full mode um, then you'll see the, the, the valves change to green and uh, we'll just knock it on here um, so you'll see the the VU meters here the valves uh, orange and uh, in a very short period of time when it's done all its checks to make sure that the amplifier is working correctly then uh, the valve color changes to green and at that point you can see the, the amplifier is ready to play music um, there's a couple of other interesting uh, bits and pieces on the front of the amplifier before we go around to the back. Um, one of the things are these five buttons here, or sorry, uh, knobs here. Um, this is interesting because this is essentially um, a five-way analog tone control, um, which means you can subtly change at different frequency points um, to let the amplifier maybe make up for a room problem or make up for maybe something in the system where you need to tone down the treble, increase the treble, um, adjust the mid-range of the bass. Um, that's, that's quite unusual because very few high-end companies have that type of feature. Um, Macintosh is, is, is unusual in a number of ways because the amplifier has some interesting features such as um, it has a fuseless protection um, uh, system on it w uh, which again fuses aren't really a friend of hi-fi because they, they get in the way of the signal path whereas the fuseless system protects the amplifier protects your speakers but it does so without without the need for fuses um, it also has an overdrive um, protection system as well so you cannot damage your speakers if you accidentally turn the amplifier up too loud um, it'll go into protection mode so um, if we can turn the amplifier around what I'm going to show you is the back of the amplifier and the inputs and the speaker terminals etc so we'll just knock it back off again and uh, switch it around okay so uh, looking at the rear of the amplifier um, you'll see the speaker binding posts um, there's two separate XLR inputs phono input and then you've got four more RCA inputs as well um, so good you know very well um, facilitated um, with the number of inputs you've got uh, say you have an mm uh, photo stage as well um, so it's a it's a you know it's a really excellent amplifier um, you have valves so you have musicality you've got 200 watts of channel into 8 ohms i think 300 watts into 4 ohms so you know you've got a real powerhouse of an amplifier here in terms of the way it drives um, haven't mentioned the price yet price is uh, 8450 pounds that I appreciate is you know quite a lot of money for an integrated amplifier but you know when you look at what you're getting with this amplifier um, the Macintosh uh, build quality the Macintosh name all the features it has including the uh, you know the, the five analog um, uh, tone controls um, you've got a very well facilitated number of inputs um, and this is really you know one of the finest integrated amplifiers on the market, sub ten, sub ten thousand pounds. Um, again, we can do interest-free credit, so you can get up to thirty-six months interest-free credit, which makes it obviously a, a, a lot more affordable for a lot of people. Um, so, if you get the opportunity, come down to either of our stores, have a listen to the amplifier. It is really remarkable. If it's a little bit beyond your budget, there is a, a Baby Brother model, which is not a compromise, other than it's less powerful. Um, so it retails at four and a half thousand. The um, the two five, uh, sorry, the two five two amplifier. This is the three five two model. Um, so as I say, feel free to come and have a listen if you get the opportunity. Um, thank you very much for watching.